Hello and welcome back to the shop. This is all footage from July. I will be out of town for a couple weeks at the beginning of August, so I tried to stack up a decent amount of videos before I left. I had to run a hundred of these hex pieces here, so I used the bar feeder for that. And it's turned and threaded and drilled on one side, and then I flip it over in the mill and drill the other side and chamfer it. The two drilled holes are obviously different sizes or I would have just done a through hole on the lathe the first time. Here is a little bit of the cam for it. So I come down with a half inch end mill and face everything off, get the little nub off there from the lathe, and then I spot drill, then drill, and then chamfer all of the hex pieces. The bar feeder is supposed to load a new bar automatically, but it has a tough time loading hex bar because it has a tough time feeding it through the collet. So I ended up just cutting pieces to like 20 inches and then running the 20 inches at a time and then just manually loading another bar. I ended up running into a problem with this branding iron here. It's about three quarters of an inch tall and three inches wide. And after the second operation, it warped pretty bad. I did it once, twice, the same size. And then the third time I made it a little bit wider. I made the base wider. And then I did it a third time and made it even wider. So the first time I made the base wider, which is this time right here, it looked fine. And I was just worried still that it might warp after heating. So I made it even bigger. So I sent both of them to the customer. You may have noticed my logo on a branding iron at the beginning of this clip and that's because I am trying out leather stamps. I turned this handle down and basically I'm just going to see what it can do if I try to stamp it in leather. I think that's it for now so thanks for watching.